place, but I'll just say so. The body and mind. The humans have body and mind. And humans are animals to the extent that they share body with other animals. But what distinguishes it? What distinguishes even from other animals is their mind, their reason. So that's an important distinction in Aristotle, which had a huge influence on Christian, Islamic, and modern philosophy. And I don't know whether it was a direct influence, but the idea had influence. So, um, and another thing which is important is reason is connected in Aristotle with God, and that that had a huge influence on. Christian and Islamic thinking, and modern thinking, especially in Kant, for example. What for Kant, uh, humanity shares with God. So in that sense, uh, that is Kant, is, uh, is, the, is the reason of mind. Uh, and in that sense, uh, for Kant, for example, and Aristotle would never have said that, but so this is Kant's Christian background combined with Aristotle. See? So man or human being is co-equal with God in that sense, to the extent that he shares mind with the God. So they are one community as far as humans are humans proper. Um, and that's the basis of uh, modern humanism, modernistic humanism, which is deification of uh, human beings, which obviously you won't find in Aristotle because he came from a very different civilization. Um, but Aristotelian ideas combined with Christian traditions became the forerunner of or the fountain of modern humanism. Uh, which is the idea of the deification of human beings, either as in, uh, individuals that we find in liberal tradition, or uh, as species being, uh, which we find uh, which we find in modern modern communitarian traditions like communism, socialism, and even modern nationalism. Okay, so uh, all men by nature desire to know 